what's up i just wanted to do an unboxing video right now um i i ordered something from under armor just la earlier this week and the box arrived so uh, i i just felt like sharing it with you guys uh, i'm excited about it because under armor was having uh, a sale um everything at their outlet which is already some of them heavily discounted has an additional 25 percent off right now so if you guys are looking for some deals i highly suggest you check out under armor a lot of my work clothes my tech wear and uh yeah even just my everyday fashion comes from under armor i'm a big fan because i like the fabrics that they use they're very functional they're stretchy moisture wicking good for sweat and all that stuff um but also they look classy to me like you can you can wear them i, I wear them for work so when i shoot weddings and mitzvahs which are more formal events i feel like they can still come off classy and and a little bit more professional looking uh versus just like a black t-shirt or like a you know and i don't like wearing i used to wear dress clothes for those events when i'm shooting but they're just not functional they're not they don't they don't lend well to you know like physical activity like squatting down to take a photo or running around to like get your equipment and stuff like that so under armor has been like a game changer for me in terms of my work apparel and even just my everyday apparel i'm wearing under armor tee right now um a lot of my running stuff even basketball stuff now is under armor curry for basketball but anyway guys i'm talking too much i the the main reason why is i wanted to buy these under armor val sets rts 1.5 tactical boots so oh wow is that with the discount yeah so it was it was i think these are like regularly 180 dollars and they went down to 84 dollars and then 25 percent off that so it's 63 dollars on these boots um and to get free shipping you have to get i think 75 dollars yeah orders 75 dollars canadian and, and higher get free shipping so that's why i added these gloves and this belt and you'll notice uh, it's a women's storm run storm run liner gloves but i got an extra large so actually it's uh, equivalent to a uh, men's medium and here a boy's belt um and this one size fits all but i read that it's 39 inches so i have a 30 inch ish waist um so usually uh, I'm sure, uh, well, hopefully it'll be fine. We'll get to check that out once I open the box. Um, but yeah, regularly 16 bucks. Sorry, not even 16. I think these gloves were like $35 regular, down to 16 bucks. And then with the sales, $12. And the belt, I think this was regularly $26 or something like that, or $30, down to 12 bucks. And now $9 for uh, with the sale. Anyway. This is the boot that I'm excited to open right now. Got a size eight. Uh, it's got some bad reviews. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It's people aren't happy with the durability of these boots. Um, apparently, they fall apart after maybe just a few months. They only have, I think, like a like a 90 day limited guarantee on on these boots, like a warranty. So I, I'm not buying these boots. I mean, I'd like to think that I can use these boots for more rugged purposes, maybe like hiking, camping, or maybe for work as well. But having read these reviews, I don't know. I'm not sure how hard I'm really gonna push these boots. A lot of people wear Under Armour boots for work purposes, or they like to go, um, they use it for like actual construction work, or maybe hunting, or um, things that are probably gonna beat it up a lot more than I would. So I still wanted to take the risk for the price, like I said, sorry, it's $160 regularly, went down to 84. I wanted to give it a try. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's open the box. I've already cut open the other side. So, there we go. Here's the box for the boots. We'll leave the other stuff there for now. Okay. So very cool looking boot there comes with the under armor box the tag there yeah right there read that there ua valsets rts 1.5 size 8 they had a 2.0 also on sale but i think the 1.5 looked nicer 
and they have more waterproof versions also that were on sale but i didn't want to go that high in the price point like i i wanted to stay around definitely i didn't want to spend a lot i wanted like a 200 dollar quality boot for under 80 bucks so all right all right here's the first boot let's just look at this boot to the touch feels nice um it's not as stiff as i thought it was gonna be like the materials a lot of woven stuff a lot of synthetics but it feels like it would be like flexible when you're wearing them show that right there guys the sole here is is, is not really it's not hard like it's it's providing some support and cushion there the tread i like kind of a simple pattern there but it is gonna grip and it's gonna bite so that's cool and apparently the the problems that most people have is around this area and you can even see right there already right there it seems to be some some issue right there there's like two little pinch points and what I've seen from a lot of the reviews is this material separates from this toe cup, toe cap or whatever it is. So uh, what I'm actually going to do right away, I'm going to spray this with like water, water repellent or water resistant kind of coating. I have a, I have something like that. That's good for like leather. So like a, a leather protector, I'm going to just, hopefully that's going to help this out in terms of holding its like resistance. I like the little, you know, you've got the three hooks usually on any boot that's got these quick release hooks on the top. You've got this little eye stay here too for, I guess, extra ankle support and articulation. You still have like ankle articulation with the softer material in between, but you got the eyelet there to kind of like lock it down with the lace. So yeah, guys, it's a boot. It's a boot. It was a good sale. That's why I bought it. And uh, I can... You know, I'll test it out and I'll let you guys know maybe in a future video uh, what I think or like what my, my thoughts are. It says here, clutch fit, Under Armour clutch fit. So there's like, they've got that tech up there for, I guess, whoop, the tooling and the structure of the boot. And I believe it's micro G. I think it's micro G is the, yeah. Ultra light micro G midsole, all day comfort, clutch fit, ankle support system, contours and provide support where you need it most. And guys, just again, to show you, let's only look at like the worst, 45 bad reviews. That's bad. 50, 51, five star reviews, 18, four stars, 18, three stars, 21, two stars, 45, one star. So yes, a lot of people are, were very unhappy with how these just broke apart over time with use there as i said from the heel cup uh the, the the toe cap separation again toe cap separation it bends right there i'm not a fan of when when shoes aren't designed to have a good crease and bend right there that that's just just poor design but we'll see especially if you like like for myself if i'm working and i'm shooting and i go down low i'll squat down a lot and i'm in more of like a, a kneel pose or like i'm on my toes but crouch down um, or squat down, squat it down, um, that's gonna bend that toe heavily. So maybe I won't do that. Maybe I won't really wear this for photography. I have flexi shoes, flexible shoes, like my Vessi slip-ons and my Adidas Ultra Boost. So that's probably what I'm gonna wear still more for my work. Again, all, all these complaints and these photos from these negative reviews seem to seem to just showcase the separation on that the toe cap so what i might do actually to reinforce it i might even you know oh what is this okay so there's the separation that one actually tore that that seems to me like it ripped maybe he caught on something there something abrasive and then there was separation on the actual that looks like a cut there too. Okay, I don't see a lot of reviews having that issue. 
mainly just okay some fabrics again on the bend yikes so yeah hopefully the the coating that i'm gonna apply is gonna help with durability and i might even reinforce it with some super glue right off the bat maybe not right off the bat but if it starts to come off i'm just gonna use crazy glue maybe gorilla glue put it back on i just wanted to maintain some sort of level of waterproofing and uh water resistance if I'm gonna go hiking in it. Oh people aren't people are having issues watching this video. Anyway there is the here let's pull out this other one so you can see them. I'm not gonna have any on feet guys this is just an unboxing but I think these boots look really nice. Obviously all black no hints of different you know, shades of color, whatever, like that. Different materials, so you have different levels of reflection on different materials. But I love the all black tactical, tactical look, uh, tech wear. I think Under Armour is a great option for tech wear. I think all these other, um, you know, off name brands from China, where you see all the really cool looking style, they're not really that functional, but for not much more money, you can find some good deals and actually get, you know, I'm going to say with a grain of salt quality materials, but, um, you know, you're going to get actual technology and tech in, in, in your apparel, in your boots, in your clothes with Under Armour that you wouldn't get in those other off name, um, Techwear brands. Kazi, what's up, man? I'm just doing an unboxing video right now from Under Armour. Okay. And since I have you here, guys, it's already been 12 minutes. I don't want to make this too long. Let's pull out this boy's belt. Okay. Let's uh, lift this up. Okay. All right. like that okay so not a very long belt let's test it out right now just put it around my waist <coughs> excuse me okay as long as this is long enough to all right guys that's a good sign if I can go around my midsection up here I still have about four or five inches of length it's around my waist down here definitely I've got still got enough room to hold up my pants so yeah that was a good buy I don't need it longer than that for my waist and what I like about this belt too is it's reversible you can take this and push out okay maybe not just push it usually you can just push this anyway by lifting this tab, I'm going to need like a screwdriver to do that. It separates the teeth from this fabric. So rather than it being solid black like that, you can have like a gray silver color instead, which is cool. So you have some options with this belt. It's good. Apparently it's good, strong material. And that was a good deal. You get the branding there on the buckle. Very nice. All right, guys, last piece. Now, I wanted to replace, I have Roots liners for my mitts. And so for my um, snowboarding mitts, really warm Roots mitt, uh, mittens that have a uh, inner liner in them that have the thumb and index finger pads that apparently you can still use your phone, like the touch screen on your phone. And I've had them for a, a few years now, and they're still they're still great. I still use them, but I wanted I wanted something maybe that could replace those once those are finally going to, you know, wear wear out and over time with use. So that's why I got these gloves. These ones I'll actually try on. But yeah, you can see here they were regularly thirty five dollars for these gloves. UA Cold Gear Storm Liner, Water Repellent, Water Resistant, Run Liner Glove, 
and it shows like a little thing there where you can do it, use it on a touch screen. So again, I got extra large, but this is women's and you can see, okay. So based on this, the fingers, uh, hopefully it hides my face there. You've got that, like the webbed kind of index finger and thumb. So that's probably for heat transfer. So you can still access, um, your touch screen, but the rest of the fingers don't have that. They do not have that same thing. So, and, ho and apparently it's not that warm. So it's, it's not meant to keep your hands super warm, let's say on like super cold weather, but you can use this for running so that in when it's a little cool, it'll keep your hand warm enough, but not make it so sweaty and where it's uncomfortable to run long distances. So it's got, oh, there's like a pocket. Let me see. Yep, there's a pocket in the glove, and that's likely for keys. Usually, you can, when you're running, you don't have any pockets, so you can put your keys there. Maybe put like a credit card. Uh, I'm gonna use this for snowboarding, so maybe I can even use it for like the lift ticket or the pass, the lift card. It's a good fit, extra large. I have medium-sized hands, so. And here, we're gonna try the other glove, and. Like these are, I think what I like about this is, is it's classy looking glove because it's like it's thin profile. I can I can wear this with like a, a classy jacket, like, um, you know, like a pea coat or like a, a trench coat type of thing. And it'll still look classy to wear these gloves. It's not a lot of flash on them. Again, all black this is why I like Under Armour so much because everything's black. So we're going to try. All right, well that activated that. And let's see if I can, yeah. So it worked, granted, you know, it's not super cold right now, but it does work on the touch screen. So that was a good deal on these gloves too. Yeah, again, that was regularly 35 bucks. Got it for $12, the boots, we're regularly 160, got it for $63, and this belt was regularly $25, and I got it for nine bucks. So, Under Armour right now, guys, check it out. Uh, this is not an affiliate video. I do not get anything for uh, for Under Armour. We, I, I don't have any kind of sponsorship. If they'd like to, I'd, I'd be down for that. I'd, I'd love that. But this is just, I, sometimes I just like to find good deals and I like to share them with you guys here on this channel. And this is one of those times. Anyway, wearing the gloves, got the belt and these sexy looking boots. I might wear these tonight. I'm gonna go out, it's a Friday. I might go to the bar, have some drinks. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked this video, hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the next one comes out. And have a great weekend. It was St. Patty's Day yesterday, so if you're going to have drinks, be uh, drink responsibly. Be safe. Have fun. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it. That's it. Just want to do a short unboxing video. Peace out. See you later, Kazi.